A good morning. Short and sweet today. I've got a box of Anno testers that I want to take a look at, see what we think about these. Uh, as you guys know, we're doing our best to expand on the anodizing. So let's just hop right into uh, seeing what these testers turned out like. Just for perspective, I uh, really, I just told them, these are testers. I want to see what you can do. Go ahead and see how it works for you as well on your end for yo-yo parts. Um, yo-yo parts are a lot s smaller than most items that anodizers are doing graphic work on. It's not the smallest thing they can anodize. It's just the graphic work on the smaller parts is hard. And they have to understand that the finish is important. Yo yo as well, the feel in your hand. And then build up and uh, decrease or, or uh, material loss. That's all very important. Why can't I open this box? Okay. Definitely. Definitely solid for the packaging. <clears throat> Maybe too solid. Um, would not want to do this for 100 parts, but they were. Uh, it's, it's nice to see them taking care of the parts. Ooh. Okay, we're still slightly. Less than that last anodizer, but slightly on that chalky side. But this is a super, super cool three, four color wash. Um, I don't love the orange mixed on there personally, but I like the concept. Just proof of concept is what we're looking for here. And um, I'm usually pretty good on picking the colors that go well together. The contrast correctly. It's like a pastel sunrise sunset. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not opening 100 yo-yos like this. I don't think they want to pack 100 yo-yos like this either. Oh. Okay. Not sure. Don't love the colors on this latest one. Kind of looks burnt in the splash, but I really do like the splash pattern and what they have inside the splash. Kind of getting that burnt vibe again on this third one, just with the black. But there's a, a couple techniques here, I guess you would call it, that I'd really like to experiment with if given the chance to pick some different colors and if we can get a little bit of this chalkiness off. Um, this one doesn't bother me too much. It's, uh, it's just a hair matte chalky. Uh, the prior one is, is pretty chalky. Uh, let's go light box these and show them off. And then, the most important part, the test. See if the bearing fits um, and if it's still smooth. So here's what I've noticed. There is a little bit of buildup. The bearings are a little tighter than you want. Yeah, they need to be tight for smooth. Um, these are a little bit tighter to get on there, but it could be usable. 
Now the real test. Do they remain smooth? One for one. Two for two. So, usable on the yo-yo side. We'll just see if we can uh, run another set, I believe. Three for three. So they all came back smooth. That's a really good thing. Maybe a little bit too much buildup so I can talk with them about that. Um, the biggest thing is just getting it to be a silkier finish on the blast. So I'm not sure if it's sealant or what. So I will discuss that with them and we'll run another run with them. Um, there is some promise here, so that's exciting. There is a, a chance to have some more colors mixed in. As you guys heard when I first opened them up, this wash is really cool. Um, so I'm really excited to pursue that some and see what happens. This has been another uh, venture down new anodizer unboxing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow. Same time. Same place.